the first process model that we need to discuss is what we call the waterfall model. The waterfall model, sometimes called the classic life cycle, because it illustrates the phases of the software development life cycle, or SDLC. It is classic because it is, old, it is actually the oldest process model being followed by industries up to this day. As the name suggests, the waterfall model requires a systematic, sequential approach to software development. This means that the project commences with customer specification of requirements, and it also progresses through planning, modeling, construction and deployment, and also with culminating in ongoing support of the complicated software. We also have variation of the waterfall model, which is called the V model. If I will discuss or if I will describe the figure shown in the presentation, as a software team moves down to the left side of the V, basic problem requirements are refined into progressively more detailed and technical representation of the problem and its solution. Once code has been generated, the team moves up the right side of the V, essentially performing a series of tasks like quality assurance, of course, that validate each of the models created as the team moves down to the left side again. There is no fundamental difference between the classic life cycle and the V model. The V model provides a way of visualizing how verification and validation actions are applied to earlier engineering work. Since waterfall model is the oldest paradigm for software engineering, it gains criticisms. And also, on the other hand, it also costs ardent supporters for its efficacy. Here are the problems encountered when the, models is, uh, when the model is applied. Number one, real projects seldom follow the sequential flow that the model proposes. Yes, of course. Since this is the oldest, some companies or some software de development companies will, of course, will use the new version or the new process models. Number two, it is often difficult for the client to state all the requirements clearly. Well, of course, if we will follow the waterfall model approach, on the first stage or in the first phase of the waterfall model, all the user requirements should be stated there. That's why it is not applicable to other projects. Last problem. Software or the project may take so much time to complete. Yes, this is true. Because a working version of the, pro of the project or of the system will not be available until all the stages in the waterfall model is completed. So when to use waterfall model? Given the flow of execution, we can assume that the model is applicable only to projects whose requirements are completely understood at the first place. The only times when this is true is 1. If we are working on enhancements to existing systems, or where the requirements are well defined. Second, if we are working on, relati on relatively small projects with simple user requirements, not too many end users are involved, and the scope is small. In both scenarios, the requirements are stable.